Scott Alexander, a magician best known for his appearance on America's Got Talent, has passed away at the age of 52. Scott, who appeared on the season 6 of America's Got Talent with his wife Jenny as his assistant, was a beloved performer who made quite the impression on judges with his illusions and tricks. Unfortunately, Scott suffered a stroke while working on a cruise ship in St. Kitty's and did not make it home. His wife Jenny and their three children are devastated stated by this law. Charles Kimbrough, an iconic star of the beloved sitcom Murphy Brown, has passed away at the age of 86 in Culver City, California. The cause of death has not been revealed yet. Charles Kimbrough is best known for his role as Jim Dial on the hit show Murphy Brown, where he played a veteran TV anchor who delivered the news alongside Candice Bergen's Murphy. He starred on the show for all 10 seasons and even received an Emmy nomination for his performance. He returned to the role for a few episodes in 2018 reboot. Lenny Poffo, a 68 years old former professional wrestler and younger brother of the late Randy Savage, has passed away. The cause of death is unknown at this time. Poffo made his wrestling debut in 1974 and went on to win a tag team championship with his father in the National Wrestling Alliance. He later joined the World Wrestling Federation and was known for his unique in ring persona as Leaping Lenny Poffo and the genius throughout his career. Pofo competed against legends like Andre the Giant, Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior and inducted his brother Randy into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2015. Outside of wrestling, Pofo was known for his poetry and wrote several books. Hackshaw Jim Duggan mourns with the loss of his friend and colleague on Instagram. Cindy Williams, best known for her role as Shirley on the hit TV show Leverine and Shirley has passed away at the age of 75. Cindy was a talented actress who brought joy and laughter to the billions of fans with the portrayal of Shirley on the show. Cindy Williams was a star in her own right with a successful career that spanned three decades. She rose to the fame as Shirley in the hit TV show which was a spin-off of popular Happy Days. The show was a massive success at one point becoming the most watched sitcom in the United States with six Golden Globe nominations nominations and one Emmy nomination. Despite leaving the show during its eight seasons, Cindy continued to pursue a successful career in acting, appearing on Broadway, making a guest appearance on TV shows like Eight Simple Rules and even reunited with her Leverine and Shirley co-star Penny Marshall on an episode of Sam and Cat in 2013. NHL legend Bobby Hull has passed away at the age of 84. He was 84 and was one of the most greatest hockey players of all time with a career that spanned 15 seasons with Chicago Blackhawks and also included stints with the Winnipeg Jets and Hartford Whalers. Hull was all-time leading scorer in Chicago's history with 604 goals and was named NHL Most Valuable Player twice. He was a 12-time All-Star, a Stanley Cup winner and a beloved figure among his fans and fellow players alike. Bobby Hull was known for his lightning speed and dynamic style on the ice which earned him the nickname the Golden Jet. He brought fans to their feet with every game and always took the time to sign autographs and interact with fans. Hull served as the Blackhawks team ambassador until 2022 and was proud of his role as an ambassador for the team. He is survived by his children including hockey legend Bert Hull. Jeff Ballard, a well-known Hollywood publicist, has passed away at the age of 64. He was known for representing famous actors such such as Charlie Sheen, Johnny Depp, Lori Loughlin, Paul Abdul, and many more. Ballard passed away after a five-year battle with lymphoma. Charlie Sheen remembered Ballard as his loyal and generous friend and publicist of 37 years. Ballard started his career as a teenager after he crashed a set of television series Eight Is Enough and later launched Jeff Ballard PR in 1982. Ryan Shefford, who was 40 years old, has died after being struck by a car accident. Ryan was best known for his work as Eminem's stunt double in the early 2000s appearing in several music videos and tours as the rapper's double. Ryan not only acted as Eminem's stunt double but also has his photo double and stand-in appearing at the MTV Movie Awards as Eminem's superhero character Rap Boy. Tragically, Ryan died at the end of January 
after getting hit by a pickup truck while attempting to cross the street. Emergency responders rushed him to the hospital but it was too late. He went on to work at Disney as a ride mechanical engineer and eventually moved to Elon Musk's SpaceX as test automation engineer. He had a bright future ahead of him and leaves behind his two children and a 7-year-old and an 11-year-old.